up with Cinema Show Gun here, and for the love of God, how long will they allow this madness to continue? A.H. is single-handedly making a mockery out of our court system right before our eyes. She is committing perjury over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over again, and this is not me exaggerating, literally every question she is asked, she lies about to the point where she is contradicting things that she just said yesterday. It's gotten that bad that she is contradicting things that she said during the cross-examination just yesterday, yet somehow this is allowed to continue. What is the point of perjury charges if someone could get on a stand and commit perjury for hours on end, just consecutively lie, lie, lie. And this isn't me being biased. This isn't because I'm some huge Johnny fan. This is me paying attention to the evidence. There's evidence to show that all of this stuff that Amber is saying is a lie. And not just that, you could go back and watch the footage of yesterday, of the trial yesterday, and you can see how her story has changed. Her story has literally changed from yesterday to today. And every time she is asked a question, she is giving all of this extra information. And you know, I made a video on my channel a couple of days ago telling you all what to expect from the cross-examination of Amber Turd, and this was the main thing I expected, that she would never give a yes or no answer all of her answers will be long-winded to the point that sometimes you never get an answer to the question. All you get is extra information about Johnny to make Johnny look bad. And I got to admit, I thought Camille Vasquez did an amazing job yesterday. And today, I think she's still doing a good job. But I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about today because I feel like A.H., I don't know if she has this newfound confidence or what, but she's being really snappy towards Camille, and there's plenty of um, instances where Camille asks a question and A.H. never directly answers it. And I feel like it's gotten a little sloppy and a little all over the place because we're not getting direct answers to most of these questions, and they're just allowing A.H. to go off on these tangents where every question or every answer to a question is, oh, well, Johnny did this and blah, blah. You know what I mean? So it feels kind of messy today because A.H., has been given the opportunity to provide all of this information that she shouldn't have a chance to provide, albeit it's false information regardless, but still it's like, damn, we need to tighten this up just a little bit. And she's being catty, she's being snarky. You know, instead of telling you out of my own mouth, let's watch this clip and then I'll be back with more thoughts. When she saw you in person on May 21? Sorry, let me clarify. I was testifying that I know that that's what Officer Sines said, that she didn't consider my red puffy face injured. That's what she said. The red puffy face, that was your counsel's question, correct? Uh, that was she her said, testimony in the UK. That's incorrect, and you know that, Ms. Heard. I disagree. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Sines didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. It Isn't doesn't matter right? what's convenient for me. Right. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21, 2016. And he also testified, no injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. They did not see injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that what their testimony was? What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damage, but it was. You were sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition about being called on May 21 to the Eastern Columbia building, and he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? he and that's what he testified to. He didn't even know which one I was. No, I think we all saw on video camera, you identify yourself, isn't that correct? I had to because of how far away he was. He didn't even know he didn't even know who he was. But after you see. identified yourself, he looked at you. Isn't that correct? From a distance, yes. And he didn't see any visible injuries either, did he? I don't know what he saw. He testified that he didn't see any visible injuries, did I he? I would believe that he didn't, yes. 
We were also in this courtroom when Alejandro Romero, who worked at the front desk at the Eastern Columbia Building, testified about seeing you on May 25th, 2016. Isn't that correct? That is correct. I think he said the 25th. Yeah. And Mr. Romero testified that he didn't see any swelling or bruises on your face when you were talking to him at the front desk. He wouldn't have. No, he wouldn't have, even though he had a habit, because his parents taught him correctly, to look into someone's eyes when speaking to them. Isn't that correct? I know that's what he testified to, yes. Yeah. You testified yesterday. Does Amber not realize that we're all watching this trial? Does she think that we have bad memory and we forgot what these people testified about just a couple of weeks ago? She's literally sitting here pretending in front of the jury, in front of the audience, in front of all of us at home. She is sitting here pretending like all of these testimonies didn't happen. She's pretending like she doesn't have memory of what these testimonies were, yet she was sitting in court right there when all of this stuff is being said. I have bad memory, okay? Even I remember all of this stuff, but she's acting like it never happened. But you know what? You know what is really telling here? What's the most telling for me is her attitude. Pay attention to this woman's attitude. When Johnny was on the stand, they objected to a lot of um, his answers. You know, there was madness while Johnny was on the stand. Johnny handled it like a gentleman. You never saw Johnny get really, like, you know, frustrated. We saw Johnny make some jokes and lighten up the mood and stuff like that. But Johnny seemed calm, cool, and collected. Whereas A.H. is getting visibly irate. Not just frustrated. She, did, she is getting visibly irate. She is being snarky. Some of, her, some of her comments are getting ugly. This looks like a teenage drama queen on the stand. And she came prepared today. I'm not going to lie. I'll give credit where credit is due. Yesterday, she looked like a deer caught in the headlights. Yesterday, she looked like a deer caught in the headlights and her back was against the wall. Today, I guess she has no Fs given because she came in here, took the gloves off, and she's swinging back at Camille Vasquez. Mind you, she's swinging back with lies and totally fabricated nonsense, but she's swinging back. She's not just sitting there taking it. And in fact, I mean, this, it's not like what she's saying or what Amber is doing is working out in her favor, but it is stopping Camille Vasquez from really hammering home the points that she's trying to make. I feel like Camille Vasquez has her right there on the ropes, and now Amber is just, you know, dodging all her punches. She, she wants to get that real haymaker, that real knockout shot, but Amber's just dodging, you know? just bobbing and weaving. She ain't really hitting back, but she's bobbing and weaving. And she's just been allowed to sit on here, commit perjury time and time again. And she's just being visibly like sarcastic towards um, Camille. She's being really catty. Catty's the only word that I could go for here. And I don't know. I just feel like today could have gone better so far. I hope after this lunch break, by the time you're watching this video, Today's trial will probably be done with. Right now, it's the lunch break. I hope they come um, back with a new, like, found focus. Because this woman is crazy. This woman is crazy. And like I said, when you watch her and how she acts on the stand, you can tell that she is the monster. She's the one that puts her hands on people. Okay? Johnny, his demeanor is so calm, cool, and collected. Even when people are asking him questions... Even when his back was against the wall during his cross-examination, he remained calm, cool, and collected. Whereas A.H. has been combative this whole time. She's been combative this whole time, fighting back everything that's said, everything, every single question. There's a slick, smart comment that she has to bring afterwards. And if I was someone sitting in the jury and I didn't know these two people from a can of paint, a matter of fact, I don't even have to take into account all of the evidence that they're bringing up in the case. If I was just sitting there and I watched how A.H. reacted to her cross-examination and how Johnny reacted to his cross-examination, and you asked me, which one do you think is more likely to be someone who likes to put their hands on people? Which one do you think is more likely to lose control of their anger? I'm pointing directly at Amber Turd. Amber Turd. This cross-examination, it tells it all. You don't even have to worry about the evidence or the questions that's being asked. Watch her demeanor. Watch how she acts. 
If you really want to know what type of people these are, I want you to go back, watch some examples of Johnny Depp's cross-examination, and watch how AH is acting on the stand today. You can tell which one has a problem controlling themselves. You can tell which one is so close to just flipping their lid. But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. There's a lot of other uh, highlights from the trial today that I will be bringing to you all and I will be reacting to those highlights with you all throughout the day. But let me know your thoughts now down in the comments below. If you agree with anything I said here, drop a super thanks down below as well. But be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you on the next video.